Hello, welcome back. We do have a bug, um, and it is in our... Uh, this, is a, this is a really interesting tiny little bug, so I'll show it to you. The problem is that when we select something from our room, and we can highlight this, when we highlight it, it signs up for de-highlighting. So if we highlight it, and then delete it, and replace it with another object, and then go over here, you see how you get an error? Because it's, it's a null object, but it's still signed up. So that's actually a problem, not with how we're doing that, but with the fact that we can highlight our cursor. Um, highlighting our cursor doesn't make any sense. So let's just go ahead and say um, if t equals null or t equals cursor tile. And that way we won't be able to highlight our own cursor. And as bugs go, oh, that's really dumb. As bugs go, that's a pretty basic one that we just fix, no problem. And you see how it complains that it's not a tile instead of complaining that it's uh, screwy. Another thing we could have done is we could have added it to a raycast ignoring layer. Uh, there's a whole bunch of options. But what we want to do is we want to make it so that when we click, that gets put here. Not as hard as it sounds, actually, so let's go ahead and do that. Over here in tile, we've actually signed up to get notified of clicks. And all we really need to do is uh, uh, there's a there's actually a party outside if you hear any noises, um, or rather there is a very loud DJ and eight people. Uh, we need to uh, know that the tile is cl being clicked, but you can see that we don't have any idea as to what the ship creation controller's active tile is. Well, we're going to actually go ahead and make this static, and this is a bit of a cheat. Uh, but it will really benefit us in this particular case, so we're not going to feel too bad about it. And that means that we don't have to know what the active ship con creation controller is, because we can get the tile even if there are a million of them. And we just place it. Um, so our problem right now is that we need to replace ourselves with that tile. So what we need to do is we actually need to create a duplicate of it. Like so. And then we need to move it to where we are. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to uh, uh, delete ourselves and uh, abandon ship. But if we're going to destroy ourselves, we have to make absolutely sure to get rid of this stuff. We don't want to have that problem we had at the beginning of the episode, where the tile is left waiting for a response that never comes. Alright, so let's go ahead and see whether that works. First off, if we click now, it'll give us an error. Yep because the cursor is null. So we need to, uh, we're going to go ahead and fix that bug in a second, but first let's go ahead and see if we can make it work proper. Click. Mesh renderer is destroyed. So we've got something hanging on. Unhighlight still got called after all of that. Why? I don't understand why it's still being called. For now, let's go ahead and shortcut it like this. Actually, we shouldn't ever need it there. Well, that fixed it. Um, so one of the things you may notice is that uh, the tile looks funny and it's rotated wrong. You can see that. That's actually because um, we instantiated it with... Uh, I'm not exactly sure why it does it quite like this, but all we need to do is rotate it. Um, I think that the problem uh, just... We're always going to have to rotate all of them the exact same amount, so it's not a big deal. Cursor.transform.rotation equals quaternion.rotate uh, angle axis Vector 3.right and negative 90 
uh, uh, sorry, a vector theta at right is a second argument. It's actually not negative 90, it's um, negative 90 times mathf dot uh, uh, degree to rad, I think. We will know soon enough. Nope. That wasn't it. It should have been it. Um, there we are. It was in fact not in uh, in degrees or in radians, it was in degrees. So there we are. We can now go ahead and place these rooms as we see fit. A major step forward in making something that works. So there are a couple of things we're going to have to do next episode, uh, among which is um, when our tile dehighlights, we're going to have to have it dehighlight back to the correct material instead of, uh, instead of blue. <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and do that now. There's no reason to worry about it too much. So over here in tile, we're going to go ahead and save the color that we currently start with. Oh, I'll put it up here. And then down here we say... And since that's the only change we make, um, it should work fine. And you can see how we no longer leave blue streaks behind. And when we place one of these, it turns back to being gray rather than blue. All right, so I'll see you next episode when we may, my, when we'll probably think about moving the camera around.